subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell your friends because Jazz really wants to go to college. Desperately, but it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. So help us get there. Yeah. Okay. Today we're making well, omelets. 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 I love omelets. Omelets. I make wonderful, elaborate omelets, and you, I don't know what you do. I don't even think you make omelets. So here's my feeling about it is that um, when you're hungry, you shouldn't wait to eat. <laughs> you should just eat. And I feel like an omelet, the great thing about omelets is that they're a fast, quick food. Healthy and fast. Fast food at home. A good omelet usually does not take a quick amount of time. That's where we differ. <laughs> so today we're going to demonstrate how my way is the better way of how, making an omelet. Yeah, well when you taste mine, you're going to be like, mmm, this is worth the time. I don't think so. Okay, All right. so, so I don't know where you're starting, but I'm starting with whipping my eggs. I always, no matter what, use three eggs. On this week, because I, I don't start with whipping the eggs. I don't need to whip my eggs. You're strange. I'll put them in the pan and whip it all together. That's... No. Taste is just no. as good. Because, you no, know, when you're whipping it in the pan, you don't, it doesn't lay out and you can't make the traditional omelet shape. So, it's going in your tummy. Yeah. Well, okay. Anyway, well, uh, I'm going to chop some onions just because I'm bored now. So I'm just using my, my fork in a mug. I'm just chopping it. And now I'm going to add, oh, I have egg on my hand. I'm going to add a little bit of salt into the egg as I whip it. Just sprinkle the desired amount of salt into. And then also some black pepper, just because I like black pepper a lot. And you just whip that up. Whipping it this way, um, chopping what onions. are you doing? Slowly chopping onions just... By the way, I have a superpower. It's like you cut onions and not tear up. My super Basically, this just makes it light so it will be fluffy without having to whip it in the pan and destroying the omelet. Okay. It's going to my tummy. Now I set it aside. Now I'm going to start with my potato. I'm still, I'm like just massacring my onion right now. I walk, you've already chopped it enough. <laughs> just, just to kill I'm time. I'm not peeling my potato, by the way. <laughs> I don't put potato in my omelet. Um, but see, that's weird. I make a side dish as well. It's innards, but it's also a side dish. So I rather have the carbs in the bread than in the potato. Well, I also have bread and butter. And also, a big you, difference. You I use salted butter. So I use salted <laughs> butter, and you use unsalted butter because you should time. always cook with unsalted butter and salt to taste. Unsalted the butter salt, has its purposes, but just not here. No. Salt in the butter, there are places to use it, but for cooking and baking, you, you shouldn't because you should be in control of how much salt you're putting in. But Jazz loves salt, so she just puts a lot of salt in everything. Jazz puts the salt in everything. I do. I do. Okay, so. Salty potatoes. Mm. Salty, um, buttery potatoes. Delicious. Here are my onions. There's not many onions because I don't want to stink to high heavens. Tinky. Oh, that's our other cat, Tinkerbell, who's joining us today. So now I just get to wait for a million hours. Oh, I can tell you what I'm putting in my omelet. So, because I don't think you need to <clears throat> chop everything. I believe in fast, fast, healthy food at home. I, Trader Joe's, not sponsored, has this wonderful fire roasted fixins. Um, in it, it's bell peppers and onions. Oh, that means I have so much onions in here. <laughs> oh well, I probably need to have Did a breath mint afterwards. I forgot. Oh. So that, it's already pre-chopped. In fact, I'm gonna throw this on your way and just use, pretend I didn't even chop that onion because I'm just gonna use this in my omelet. It's pre-mixed, done. No chopping, no stress faster to the eating process, which I think is most important. I oh, think and I'm it's also most putting, important to do it well. I'm also putting cheese. This is a Mexican mix, which is like jack, cheddar, queso kind of cheese. You but know you that can queso is cheese. Queso is Spanish for cheese. Yep. And um, non-sponsored, I love the Morningstar veggie sausage. It's a vegan sausage. It's a sausage patty. I don't like the maple. To me, that doesn't taste good, but this one is just the original patties. So, Microwaves. <laughs> 45 seconds. I'm getting a bowl 
to put my potatoes in, and then I'm gonna move on to onions. So those are my potatoes. Now I'm gonna cut an equal amount of onion. I'm not using your already chopped up onion, but I am stealing this knife because it's better. That's a copy. Well, I wait. Are you gonna cry? Mm, I don't know, maybe. I can chop lots and lots and lots of onion. I can put onion, like, mmm, no tears. You can squeeze an onion in your eye and you'd be fine. I do an equal, Basil, you can't have onions. I do equal parts potato and onion. Equal? Equal. Well, maybe a little less onion, but sometimes I do equal. That's a lot of onion. You don't like friends. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> so that's, a, that's good enough. I'm going to put the rest of this onion. Now, I get to put this in a bowl with my potatoes. Ta-da! I so I'm not um, done yet. haven't started cooking yet, and um, I'm not done yet. I still have my um, Jazz, jalapeno to chop up. Jazz hasn't even... But the jalapeno, we're not frying with the onion and potato. Set that off to the side. I also have some fresh basil over here. So, also, a trick that I learned a little while ago to get your seeds... Onion on my hand to get your seeds sort of detached from your jalapeno. See now the onions affecting my eye. The juices have gone to my face. Wow. Whoa. Um, <laughs> because the seeds are the hot part of the jalapeno. The actual skin is not hot at all. Um, for, like you didn't even know jalapenos were in pico de gallo, but they are because they're not spicy. Um, <laughs> it's only the seeds. So you just roll it with a little bit of pressure. I mean, it's affecting my eyes. <laughs> I'm mean because I'm laughing because you're <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, it stinks. How do you manage this on a normal basis? It's <laughs> usually not this bad. <laughs> okay. It's kind of mean that I'm laughing at yeah. your pain. Mm-hmm. And then you can chop. Oh, I, I wonder what that is. I, I wonder know. why onions make people cry. I personally thought it was a myth. Because I have obviously been chopping onions all my know, life and I have an issue. Something about it. Something about the chemicals. It, it never bothers me, I don't know why. That's so crazy. It's my secret superpower. That's... Now that it's out in the world, people are gonna come over to our house and be like, chop all our Just onions. Chop all of our onions. And I will. I'll chop all your onions. So as you can see, some of the seeds attached. This one is a thick jalapeno. I just can't eat hot. Maybe, maybe this maybe those are related. So, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's most of the seeds are now detached, so I can just shake them out. Cool. The reason I, if we had tomato, we don't have any tomato. No, we don't have any tomato. Otherwise, I would chop up some tomato. That's the only thing I would chop up for my omelet, some tomato. But with those types of things, um, usually I dislike cooking them before I put them in my omelet. With everything else, I cook it before I put it in my omelet. But tomatoes, if you cook them, they've got a lot, a lot of um, water. So it makes your omelet runny. So I don't- That's why you cut them and you put them in your omelet fresh. And it's the same thing with like jalapeno or peppers. I like cooking them and then putting them in, or not cooking in them and then putting them in my omelet. With like potato and onion, I cook them, which I'll see how. See, because my process is much faster, I just top cut them, throw them in the pan with the egg. They're out and so fast, it doesn't release much juice. But we're talking about something that we can't demonstrate because we don't have any uh, tomatoes. No. So, your omelets can have tomatoes though. They should, I think tomatoes omelets are Omelets are very delicious. personalized. That's the wonderful thing about omelets is that they're very, very personalized. What? I mean, you can put a bunch of stuff in an omelet, but there's certain things I wouldn't put in an omelet. Like yes. I wouldn't put chocolate in your omelet. No. I wouldn't put like sprinkles. That seems wrong. Dessert type things, no. Although you could mix a little bit of honey into your eggs when you're whipping them to get a sweeter flavor. I don't think that would taste good, but personally, I think it's no. absolutely something you could do. So that's about as much jalapeno I'm gonna put. Like and I'm gonna keep syrup, that fresh, so I'm um, keeping it on the cutting board. So, next step, we go to the pan. We're at the stove. So I'm gonna take some butter. I'm just gonna wait, cause honest to God, 
cup of blob of butter in the pan. This is gonna take forever. It's gonna be so nice though. I have it on like a medium heat. I'm gonna move my hair to the other side though. Oh. Ah. Now I gotta wait for this to melt. Oh, I'll put in butter too. I have a little mini cast iron um, pan. This is a non-stick pan, by the way. I like cooking in my little um, non-non-stick pan, my little iron skillet that I bought specifically for eggs. Basically, all I'm doing is rubbing the butter all around the pan. Now I'm just gonna let it melt in the center. I put my non-stick butter in I'm my pan. I'm not doing eggs just yet. My non-stick butter, get it? Because the egg makes it non-stick. It's funny, huh? It's funny. <laughs> My nonstick butter. I'm just buttering my pan. It's a little pan, so it gets hot fast. Look, my butter's almost all melted. My butter's also almost all melted. Faster than yours. I have a medium heat and you have a high heat. And I have totally too much butter in here, but like just pretend I'm Julia Childs. <laughs> oh, See, butter. my butter is almost gone. More butter. I don't know. That was my Julia Childs impression. I hope it so, was So, now that my butter is basically melted, I'm going to oh. dump in my potato and onion. Eggs. I only do two eggs. It's an elastic spatula. Because, you know, and sometimes I'll do um, egg white omelet because, you know, cholesterol. Get everything nice and coated. But today I'm not butter. doing it. Booyah. Two eggs. Now I'm gonna make a little pile in the middle of my pan. That's where the fun comes. Make sure everything's in the pan. Scrambling it on the pan. Ooh, my plate's too hot. I'm gonna turn Take it a lid and put it right there. I like a medium to high heat and we wait for it to start sizzling. I'm scrambling it. Then I'll stir it around. Because I like mine omelet with a little bit of more You're texture and color. Legs, so. Free cut. But I don't even like the way you make oh my god. That big bag of cheese, see? So I'm gonna use some sprinkle some cheese. Blah, 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 blah. I I'm do not put now. any salt or spices to cook because I'm gonna salt and spice it after it's cooked. Yeah but see now I don't have to do that. I guess I, I don't like doing that because it, it, it gets it all over everything else that is with my meal. And I don't want that. I put the spices in and then I don't have to do it again. Although I will later um, soak my potato and onions. What? Done. It's done now. Just gonna let it cook. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it, but my potatoes and onions are starting to sizzle. It took like five seconds. It's okay. Now I'm just gonna smear them around a bit more. Turning up my heat a bit. This is an erase. <sighs> Although it kind of is, but it's more of a race to see who can make a better omelet. Or is it better to wait, or is it better just to eat when you want to eat food? It's better to wait because then it's better quality. No, I don't agree. I think you have I just this wait. good quality. I gotta wait and make a very, very delicious omelet. The reason that I have the lid is because it keeps all of the moisture inside so the potatoes that are on the top get cooked thoroughly instead of just cooking them and then you have some pieces of potato that are a little raw in the center. It keeps all the heat inside. That's true. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's low. I'm cooking my omelet. This is how I cook an omelet. Those scrambled eggs, I'd just be like... <laughs> I don't even like the way you make scrambled eggs. You don't make eggs, right? I like to make scrambled eggs. So I was taught a long time ago. My dad was a chef for many years. And he would say that if you wanted to see the health, the health, the freshness of the eggs, one of the ways to tell is like um, when you scramble, you can see the whites are really white and the yellows mm -hmm. are really yellow. So there was this thing, I don't know if he made it up or if it's <clears throat> what it's called, but it's like country scrambled where you fry the egg so you get a little mm -hmm. bit of the yellow cooked and a little bit of the white cooked and then scramble it so it's kind of mixed with eggs and yellow and white and that's actually how I like my scrambled eggs. What are you doing? Poking it. Oh my god. No. No. 
No, why not you put it down? Don't. Uh, I like poking it. <laughs> it makes me happy. I, I, this is why I don't eat your eggs. <laughs> this is why I don't eat your eggs because my eggs are done faster. And then I, I'm full. Oh, uh, it smells delicious. It does smell good. I'm not going to take mm -hmm. that away from you. It does smell good. And but it's going to taste incredible. You don't have any um, eggs in there yet, though. Yeah. This is this is not eggs yet. This is this will go inside my eggs. I love making omelets because it's just so fun. And is lovely. that even like halfway done yet? My omelet is almost done. It's almost done. You haven't even started your omelet yet. Yeah. And I, no, my omelet, omelet is almost. This is part of my omelet. Oh my god, I can't believe that you're still, this that you haven't even had it in the oven yet. This is the moment where I would flip it, but I, I really feel like I shouldn't flip it right now because I feel like, why should I flip it and conform? I'm actually not going to flip this. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to conform. I'm going to have an egg that's a perfect omelet round. It's the flip. It's not an omelet. That's just an egg. Not flip it. Anyway, I'm going to fold it. I'm just putting this back in the bowl that I had it. I might get a spoon in a second. But if I was going to fold it, what I'm doing is just lifting the side up a little bit for the fold. So you can see, I'm doing it with a fork. It's probably better not to do it with a fork, to do it with an actual spatula. Spatula. But you see, I can lift it up and fold. But I, again, I'm not conforming. It's not an omelet. You, you failed. It's not an omelet. <laughs> Already I win this challenge. It's not really a challenge, but it is. I refuse the urge to fold this omelet. It's not an omelet anymore now. <sighs> so, I'm um, gonna add a little bit more butter, Mine's really actually. fluffy though. Look how beautiful and fluffy it is. Wait till you see how fluffy mine is. I'm just adding a smidge bit more butter. You have to do it like Julia Child. Revise my butter. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I haven't turned my heat on yet. I haven't turned my heat on yet. My pan is so hot and I was prepping my pan. Now I will turn on the heat to low medium. And add my lovely egg right to the center and let it spread out. Cool. Hola. No. A little hot. hot. <laughs> um, so yeah. Now the next stage and I'm going to prep my cheese. I feel like this is done. It's a little juicy. Here are the things that I have for prep. My jalapeno, some fresh basil, my potatoes and onions. And of course, the cheese I'm using is a shredded blend of Parmesan. I don't know what type of cheese it is. It's a blend of very nice cheese. Mostly I just have it for the Parmesan. Meanwhile, I'm going to take my messy but delicious fluffy omelet out. This is so long. This is so long, you guys. It's gonna We're gonna, be have so to, we're gonna speed up parts of this episode because it's so long. And now, as you can see, the very first layer underneath my egg is cooked. So, now, as you can see, my omelet is done. Done. Mm, that parmesan smells so good. Now we're gonna add a small Come layer of cheese across the entire omelet. Just a very thin layer. And then I'm gonna wait for this side to cook a little more because this, oh, actually that's gonna be my omelet side. That's what I'm deciding, right? Adding a little bit, a thin layer across the entire omelet gives it a little bit more of, um, Deliciousness? Guess, well, yeah, but also keeps it together a little bit more. So we're still waiting. Now I'm adding my potato to that one side. My potato and onion. Now we have some jalapeno. Tasting it. Another thing with omelets is when you're making it, it might seem strange, but you only use about a third. When, when you're putting down fillings, you only cover Actually, a little, a little less than a third of the omelet, and uh, that way, when you fold it, it folds very neatly. 
and nothing falls out. I like water jalapeno. My omelet is pretty simple and delicious. It's missing toast. Yeah, you can make some toast. I gotta make some toast too. So, yeah. Now I have some sauces. I'm just chopping up some fresh basil right on top of my onion. My onion? My egg. It's the only time I will ever use a metal. Ah! What are you doing? <sighs> Basically, that's just to lift up your egg. You, you can see that with an egg. egg. No, because the non-stick ones that we have are just, they're not good. Don't do this. They don't pick up the egg, and it's not really good to do this, but I do. Because I need a good egg. But that says a little bit more stuff. Cheese we just went ahead and said not to use metal in there. And then I them. said, I'm going to show you one way that I, I break that rule, but it's for a good cause. Okay, so now I've, I've unstuck my my top part of the egg. So I'm going to pick it up, do a lovely fold over, and then press it down. You want to seal the edges. So you take that sharper edge of the, the, um, the spatula and just press down on the edges. It's got a little stuff. You could have been done eating my omelet by now. Yes, but I and like to eat for things. good food. Could be like mowing the lawn or doing jumping jacks. Never never or never mowed the lawn. Never? Exactly. But I didn't say I could be mowing the lawn. I said you out there could be mowing your lawn. <laughs> But look how beautiful this omelet is. It doesn't matter, Lily. I mean, unless you're presenting it like, oh, look at I my always beautiful present my omelet. Food. If you're just hungry, see, you, I feel like if I'm just making an omelet for myself, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to taste good. That's how my philosophy about that. Like, I suppose if I had, was hosting a brunch and I wanted to make fancy omelets, I guess I could do that. I'm but. Get Truly, all my friends would be like, hungry. Hungry now. See, I like these plates because it's the exact size of the omelet. <laughs> Bad, well, it's not for you. It's almost done. So we're back over at the table, and you can see I have my toast. I have my gorgeous omelet. I have my veggie sausage. I've got my cheddar cheese deliciousness omelet. It was super fast. Of course, it's cold now because we waited for jazz. Mine's nice and hot. Because you did it longer. I have my toast. My, our so toaster did not toast my bread the way I like it. Whenever. I like my toast very toasted, unlike you, which is like just warm. So now I'm smashing my omelet on top of my bread, which I prefer eating it that way. <laughs> so I usually slice some of my omelet open. Mmm, lovely. Smash it. Put it on some toast. Oh. oh. <laughs> No dogs allowed. Put some potato with it. I mixed in the rest of my jalapeno with my potato. It's too much slam uh, and sandwich. Mm. I like sandwiches too. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. So, we can do it Jazz's mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. That takes a million hours. Here, have a taste of my egg. I don't doubt that it's a good egg. It's my knife. I just feel like, any of the insides. I feel like it's too long. Mm, but it's still worth it. I don't feel like it's like superior tasting to mine, but I will taste yours just yeah, to be polite. Yet, just to be polite. You were making a mess of my egg. Such a good egg. Tastes like an egg. Mm. The cheese and potato. So good. Mine is so good too, mm. and faster. Anyway, that's that's our episode on omelets. We'd love to hear your opinions about it. I think it was me. I I still stand by messy and fast is is awesome. Um, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe because Jazz really wants to go to college. That's so expensive. How are you gonna eat omelets in in college? Oh. College I want to go to has a gorgeous kitchen. That's how you're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, subscribe, 
Thanks so but much I for watching. But I can't go there if I don't have any money. So please, please subscribe. 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 And also put your in your comments below who won the omelet challenge. If you agree that fast is better than beautiful, but then this you is also are my delicious. side. <laughs> this is also delicious. And you have three eggs. They're both delicious. There's not mm. a debate of whether right, it's delicious. Right. They're both delicious. It's eggs. It tastes like eggs. It tastes like an omelet. It tastes like bland eggs. Well, that's because I didn't put as much spices on you because I don't like that. But, irregardless, mm. fast, awesome, beautiful, long. So, and you can just sit and enjoy your egg and be like, oh, such a good egg. Anyway, bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>